Council and I'm the founder of Money Mastery. And Money Mastery is really about offering people great information so that they can get great results. Now, I know that we've been covering a lot of information over these past training videos, and I know that it's a, a lot to take in in such a short space of time. So if, if we continue to work together, I'm gonna slow everything down and go through everything that I've gone through step by step by step, pull it all apart and elaborate it on it so that it gives you absolute meaning and so that you can take that learning that you're doing and then apply it to any direction that you want to move in and especially if that direction is something like you know economic and personal freedom but today I'd like to introduce you to the master plan which I call thrive and it's really a step-by-step -step process of getting more of what it is that you want now you know my specialty is economic and personal freedom and, and sharing that journey with people but if economic and personal freedom are not important, again, just take out that and put in what really is important to you. And it doesn't matter whether that is you want to improve your profitability with trading or you want to improve, let's say, your ability to um, you know, train horses and use horses and things of that nature. It's really a step-by-step -step process that we've got to start thinking about. And we've got to start thinking about this whole notion of Thrive. Now, if you think about it, if you give any living organism the right conditions, and those right conditions are full of sort of, um, you know, fertile, if especially if it's a plant, if it's full of organic matter and it's full of nutrients, then that plant will thrive and it'll bear crop year after year after year after year. Well, it's exactly the same for us. If you provide your mind with all of the rich nutrients it needs, it will actually thrive because thriving is actually the natural law of the universe. And so if you want to achieve more, if, if, you, if you want to improve your business, if you want to improve your financial incomes, if you want more financial independence, if you want a more connected relationships, so we've got to get into this notion of a fertile environment for exactly what it is that you want. And so if you think about Gandhi, the essence of Gandhi's message, or one of his messages uh, to us, was this notion of thrive. If I have a belief that I can do it, I shall surely acquire the capacity even if I may not have it in the beginning. And this whole notion of acquiring the capacity, the capacity, so what we want is we want a clear goal and then we want to acquire the skills moving towards that goal. So I shall surely acquire the capacity really comes to those who are really immersing themselves in very, very fertile environments, fertile environments that allow them to thrive because with thrive comes more confidence, it comes more, uh, it becomes more independent and it really we start to develop a knowledge base that allows us to achieve just about anything. Now, if you think about all journeys of, of change, if you like, if there's a, a fairly clear map to follow, then those journeys of change are, are relatively easy. And this is just a map of Perth, which is the city um, that I live in, and it's in Western Australia. And if you're familiar with reading a map like that, and if you say, well, look, you know, here I am, I'm located over here, and where I'd really like to get to is up there somewhere. Now, you know, in a geographical map like that, then it's fine, but what happens if it's a personal map? What happens if your goal is increased profitability? What happens if your goal is increased or greater success in the areas of interest to you? Then we've got to have a very, very good map. We've got to know where we want to head to and we've got to know where we're starting from. And when we do that, now we start to think about, well, okay, now we need a vehicle that will take us from there to there. And once we're in that vehicle, it's simply now a matter of navigating our way, staying on track. You know, we get to the middle of the city here, and we, you know, there's a bit of a river. We've got to cross the river. We've got to find our way through a bit of, a bit of traffic. We've got to find our way through a bit of, you know, jam. But after we get there, we get back on track and we head towards our goal. And when you've got a map, that's a relatively easy thing to follow, especially since it's now just a momentum with a step-by-step -step process. But what often happens for people is that they don't have a map, especially a map that allows you to create greater profitability, especially a map that allows you to create greater success in whatever you want. So if you have done that journey before, well, pretty much there's a, you know, you've got this memory of, well, okay, I did that and I did that and I did that and I did that and I did that. And yes, I can actually get to 
my increased profitability. But what happens if you've never done that journey before and you don't have a map to follow? Well, sadly, we're back at our starting point again and we don't know which way to go. And it really reminds me of this whole notion of the Monty Python's you know, a race for 100 metres with people who have no sense of direction. And we kind of sort of all over the place and we try this and we try that and we buy this and we buy that, but it never really gives us what we want because the map and the how-to and the support doesn't actually come with it. As a result, what we're often left with is a whole bunch of distraction, a whole bunch of confusion, but the results just stay the same. And so the Thrive Blueprint and all of the other trainings that I've been um, sharing with you, such as the development of a, a greater effective feedback mechanism. And another thing about the default feedback mechanism, we've got to change models. We've got to help each other change models. And so we want to operate on a, an achievement oriented map. Now that's what the Thrive system does. Now each of these headings that I've got up here, you know, we can unpack them. There's lots of training and learning to happen underneath each of those headings. And so we've got Thrive, yes, this whole notion of getting ourselves into a very, very fertile environment and then thinking differently. We've got to start thinking differently because all causality begins in the mind. And so we want to start thinking about, okay, how am I going to achieve the success thing that I want? Then we've got to start thinking about, well, maybe I need to change some habits. Maybe there's some um, you know, habits that are really ineffective, but there are also some habits that I could start creating that would be more effective. We've got to understand the notion of the hero's journey because all change is in fact a hero's journey. And when you think about Joseph Campbell's work on this, it's about you know, leaving the ordinary results behind so that we can journey forward in order to achieve extraordinary results. And so we've got to have an understanding of that. We've all got to, also got to have an understanding of reference groups. You know, you want to be in a fertile environment and if the people that you're exposed to, if the news media that you're tapping into, if the general um, you, you know, noise of society itself is a negative sort of noise, then we've got to tap into a reference group that's much, much more supportive. Tap into people who are like-minded people who want to journey forward with you. Then we've got to start thinking about integrity. And integrity means attending to your intention. So if your intention is to change, if your intention is to learn all of the skills that you need to learn in order to achieve economic and personal freedom, if your intention is towards greater profitability in your business or greater profitability in, in something that you're really passionate about, then we've got to attend to that. We've got to attend to that. So we have to have the integrity of doing every single day that will take us further towards where we want to get to. And after we've got to do that, then we start thinking about validation. Now we live in a society and you know groups around us that, that aren't really good at validating. In fact, they're very good at invalidating. You, you know, you never look right, you never dress right, you don't drive the right cars, you don't live in the right place, you don't live in the right sort of houses. All of those sorts of things are constantly invalidating. So the whole idea of journeying towards extraordinary achievements in any endeavor that you want is the notion of validating the new you. So you've got to validate the new you because other people are not necessarily going to validate you. If they do, that's just an absolute bonus. But you've got to take charge of that validation. And then we've got to immerse ourselves into fertile environments. And when we do that, when we put all of that together, we, we get our map back. And then when we get our map back, it's just a matter of now working with people who have done this journey before and they can show you each of the steps that you need to take in order to achieve more money or in order to achieve more time freedom or in order to achieve more connectedness or in order to achieve more skills in whatever it is that you want to skill, want to um, you know, gain skills in. So if you're working with a mentor in the area that you um, want to excel at, then they're the people that have done the journey before and they're the people can actually supply the map and they're the people that can give you their version of an achievement orientated map. So think about this Thrive step-by-step -step system and as I say, there's, you know, every, every section there has its own set of trainings. But the idea is to get down to more time and more money if that's what um, you know, you're seeking and it's certainly what I'm skilled at teaching people with. So if you think about that, then we come over here and think, well, okay, you know, we live in a world of pure potentiality. 
So if you're able to do anything, we're just kind of sort of missing a bit of information and, and let's say a, a few strategies, but if it's been done by another person before, so we know that it must be potential, potentially available for you. So we live in a world of pure potentiality and what we've got to focus on is a goal. And so how are we going to change from there to there? And again, that's the roadmap plus some of the other trainings I've been sharing with you. But if you start thinking, the first thing we've got to have is this notion of clarity. We've got to have a destination in mind. Once we've got the destination, then we can start creating the map. But without the destination, again, we're just going to be that Monty Python race for 100 metres with people of no sense of direction, and all, we're just travelling all over the place. So we've got to have this clarity, and then we have to have this absolute belief in, belief in yourself that you can do it. You can achieve whatever it is that you want as long as you have enough belief and enough determin in your, to, determination in yourself in order to succeed. So if we've got those three components in place, then the next thing we need to do is take authentic action in the direction that you say that you want to start excelling at or the direction that you want extraordinary achievement in. Because without that authentic action, what are we doing? You know, and if there's a lack of authentic action in the direction, in other words, integrity to your intention, then the results are only ever going to stay the same as they are. And so we won't get to our extraordinary achievement goals. And this is a really, really important and crucial distinction that I, I would like to share with you. You know, sometimes in life we just get to what I call a choice intersection. Will I go that way or will I go that way? You know, will I pursue this or will I, you know, that's looking a bit hard. I don't really know that. And so we have these choices to make, but every so often we, we, we get to these choice intersections. And, you know, perhaps it's like that for you now. And so, you know, if you think about, well, there are a number of choices we can make and they all sort of boil down to whether we're going to make a choice in order to thrive in an economic and personally free way. Now, again, if you know, economic and personal freedom aren't important to you, but something else is important to you, well, there's a choice to thrive at whatever you want to thrive at. There's also the choice to do nothing, you know, and that's a choice, and that's a choice that people make. And so what they do is that they experience sameness year after year after year, and, you know, the ruts of sameness just get a little bit deeper and deeper. And, and when you choose sameness, somehow it always seems that you've got to settle for less. Now, of course, there is another choice that people often make, which is they don't choose to stay the same, they just don't make a choice. And then a few years down the track, they start to regret that, well, they should have made that choice, they should have taken that opportunity, they should have gone that way, they should have gone that, and now I experience, as a result of not doing that, a life of regret. And you're gonna think about, okay, so, so where are you at the choice intersection? If you think about your future, your future starts with one decision. And if you don't make that decision to thrive, in this case today, then it's not possible for your future to be full of thriving and full of achievement, full of all of those things that are still connected to your dreams. It's not possible. So your future begins with one decision. And if you don't make it today, then we can't get it tomorrow. So think about that. Think about, well, what's the next step for you? The next step for some people is to get hold of a body of information. So we've got to have clarity of intention. Then we get hold of that sort of body of information and then we start the learning process. Or people have already got hold of a body of information and they just need support. They just need support in terms of the actions or the next step, the very next step for them. So it's often a, you know, get hold of a body of information or the next step might be some form of action for you. Now, extraordinary achievement is a bit of a funny uh, sort of thing because of what it, it really requires that you separate from the idea that you personally have to know every single step in the plan before you begin. Because it's a real funny thing about when you're actually moving along a journey of change, the very next step for you is actually dependent or determined by the results that you've just had from the previous step. And so we don't have to know everything in minute detail. What we've got to know, though, is have absolute clarity on where we want to get to. And then we take the first step. And then we do that, we arrive at that, and then we start to, you know, get a bit comfortable, pick up a few more skills before we move on to the next step. 
And that's what I do. I actually support people through on their journeys of change, but it's taking it one step at a time, one step at a time so that that step makes absolute meaning for you and you feel comfortable then from stepping off into the next step. And so what I'd like to share with you is a journey of change. And I call that journey of change, the journey of change or the blueprint for extraordinary achievement. And it's got a series of um, webinars attached to it. In fact, it's a step-by-step -step series of webinars that expands on a lot of the success training that we've been doing. And, and I know that there's been a lot, and I'm going to slow that down and give you all of the blueprints, give you all of the formats, give you all of the um, notes that you need to in order to sort of dissect that so that you get the meaning that's, that, you know, that's the best fit for you. So it's really going to expand on a lot of the principles, principles that we've been covering. It's a weekly seminar and it's going to go for the next 12 weeks. And so I'm going to be there delivering the seminar. We can engage for the next 12 weeks and then once a month we're going to have a live question and answer because I want you to get some information. I want you to start working with some of these blueprints. I want you to start working with the documents and the notes and, and, and you know, just finding your own way within that body of information so that when you come up to a question and you need the answer, then we're going to um, do a separate um, Q&A session and I'm going to stay there and, and answer every single question that comes up. Now, again, that's one Q&A session per month and four um, weekly webinars per month. Now, they're all going to be recorded, so if you can't make the time that we actually got the uh, webinar running, that'll actually be recorded, be recorded and put into your membership site and you can access that membership, uh, membership site any time that you like. The first thing we're going to do is start off, we, we're going to go back and pick up our blueprint for extraordinary achievement. We're going to start picking up on our, um, our, our mechanisms. We're going we're gonna to start you know, really exploring what this default mechanism is all about and why it actually stops most people from achieving success. And then we're going to insert a new mechanism that is actually designed to make successing become an automatic thing for you. And then we're going to dip into our Thrive plan and we're going to take apart those, those six steps and we're going to really unpack them so again, there's much, much more detail then. But that's where we're going to start with. And in addition to that, we're going to start thinking about why achievement feedback mechanisms are so crucial for your success and why default mechanisms never really allow you to get past sameness. Now, if you're at that choice intersection and you're operating through your default mechanism, it's not going to allow you to take the next step. It's going to trigger up all sorts of concerns and all sorts of fears and all sorts of barriers and all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't progress. But see, there's no achievement there. There's only sameness. And in fact, there's you know, less results because you know, the world moves on and we just get less and less and less. And so we've got to start thinking about that. But why they're so powerful, why we need to be able to get around them, and we get around them by putting in a new success. Then we're going to talk about why your new blueprint helps you gain all of the freedom that you want or all of the skills or all of the successing that you want and why it helps you avoid sameness and it avoids having to settle for less, you know, year after year after year after year, especially when you see other people achieving and you could have been achieving with them. And then we're going to work out on how, we're going to learn how to calm the fear senses in your brain. Now, once we learn to calm them, we then become more productive, more skilled, and, you know, pretty much in half the effort and half the time. So we're going to tap into that part of well, we're also going to learn how to turn your new blueprint into a, an automatic successing survey mechanism so that once you've actually inserted it or once you've got it established in your subconscious mind, then your subconscious mind takes over and successing becomes your automatic um, experiences, your automatic outcomes. You know, it takes a little bit of work to do that, but it's actually um, doable. Then going to talk about how to avoid flipping back into old habits, because those old habits are coming from your default feedback mechanism. And we want to learn how to actually get out of that and how to sustain this on an automatic process. Then we're going to come and learn the five critical processes that actually prevent extraordinary success happening for most people. And it's important we understand something about those five processes because if we're not aware of them, then we really, you know, again, we can't address them. And if we can't address them, then we're always going to be at effect and not at 
cause. And so we're going to look at that. And then we're going to talk about how to close the gap between the money that you want and let's say not enough money. How to close the gap between the things that you want or how to close the gap between more of the things that you want and how to shorten the distance between what's actually turning up. So we're going to look at that in a, in a very, very in-depth way. Then we're going to start thinking about, okay, in one of the um, training videos that um, we just saw, I said the first step is to create a mental reality of what you want first. Because if there's no mental reality, then other realities can't catch up. So step one was create a mental reality or to think it into existence first. And step two is to emote it into existence. Now, once you've got the mental reality established and once you've got the emotional reality established, then it's, not, it's almost impossible for the physical reality not to follow. You know, thinking it into existence is a fast process. Emoting it into existence is a bit of a slower process. Of physically getting into existence is a somewhat slower process too. But see, the physical reality can only be made available. It can only catch up to a mental reality. It can't happen the other way around. So we've got to do those three steps, and I'll take you into some training that will help you, um, you know, develop those processes. Then we're going to talk about how do you personally identify your unique genius. Now we're all born with a unique genius. It's you know part of who we come into this world as, but. You know, conditioning and enculturation often sort of suppresses our individual genius and makes us learn a whole bunch of stuff that suits, you know, society or suits enculturation or suits the, um, you know, the conditioning process. So how do we actually identify our unique achievement genius? How do we then tap into it? Because it's just sitting there and it's just sitting there, you know, in your subconscious mind waiting for you to give it a set of instructions. And once we understand, once we can target it, once we can give those instructions, then it will actually help you on your journey to extraordinary success. So we're going to talk about how do you actually connect up with your genius and how do you get into flow states? Because when you're working from within flow states, then your successing levels just absolutely start to rocket up. So we've got to understand why flow states in terms of the way that Michaela Csikszentmihalyi talks about it, why flow states are so professionally and so personally productive. And, and once we learn how to tap into those flow states, again, you know, life is just such a, such a joy. We're gonna show you the exact steps that I followed when I was starting out on my journey. And, you know, um, it was a journey of being absolutely dead flat broke. And I, and I think I told you about that in the first video that we, we looked at. So here I was dead flat broke. And I decided to change. I decided to develop my own blueprint for extraordinary achievement. And 3.8 years later, going from absolute dead flat broke, then I became a, a millionaire. And you know, sometime after that, a multimillionaire. And it's that journey that I support people on. So we're going to draw new maps. And those new maps are going to target greater effectiveness in the things that are important for you. Once we target greater effectiveness, then we can start to develop together a personalized action plan. Now that's a personalized action plan for you. So we'll be working together on the webinars, we'll be working together on the question and answer calls, and then once you've got that action plan that's personalized for you, then you can head towards the success in the area that's, again, important for you. The understanding, too, of why validating your uniqueness, why validating your unique genius is much, much, much more important than trying to find a life of purpose at this stage. Now, not, a, not that a life of purpose isn't actually important, but until we learn to connect to our, our genius, until we learn to connect to our true potential, we're kind of sort of missing the mark a bit. So if we go in there and we validate our, our uniqueness, and then from that uniqueness, we create value for other people, and then from creating value for other people, we're able to achieve the economic and personal freedom that are important. And then we're going to start working on how to lessen the effects of enculturation. How do we lessen the effects of our conditioning? How do we lessen the effects of old habits? How do we lessen the effects of stuck energy? How do we lessen the effects of, you know, the sort of the negative pull of the environment around you? And how do we work with our critical faculty? And, um, you know, we saw in previous trainings that it's a very, very powerful psychological filtering process, but how do we work with our critical faculty in a way that almost ensures or guarantees our success. 
And that's available. So that's a, a process that we need to get into. And then we're going to start thinking about, now, how does evolutionary, what role does evolution play in this? Well, you know, evolution as we evolved created um, a couple of really important thinking systems. And the neuroscientists talk about system one thinking and system two thinking. And system one thinking is very reflexive and it's very, very quick and it's very rapid and it's very automatic and, and pretty much it's hard to control. And yet, that's the sort of thinking system that most people access. They just don't realize that that's what they're accessing. But there is this other thinking system that we are able to access and that's called system two thinking. And system two thinking is, is much, much slower. It's, it's much more reflective reflective, we kind of sort of, you know, really think up and, and then we can, from that process, we can actually design our way forward with much greater certainty, much greater confidence, much greater uh, clarity. So we've got to tap into System 2's thinking process. And again, we'll, we'll go over that in some of the webinars. How do I develop more efficacy? Now, efficacy might be a strange word for people or other people might uh, know it, but really it's defined as your beliefs in your capabilities of achieving the goals that you set for yourself. And some people have a low belief in themselves. Well, okay, so how do we actually, you know, how do we actually increase that belief? Well, we start taking little steps, little steps, we start setting little goals so that we get a pattern into our subconscious mind of achievement. We get a success and an achievement pattern going there. And then we start to increase and start to increase. But every time we're doing it, we're actually building what they call self-efficacy, and we're building more confidence. And when we get more confidence and more um, uh, belief in ourselves, then the direction that we travel in becomes that much clearer. Again, we're going to have a monthly Q&A session, and these will all, re all be recorded so that you have access to. But the really important thing about that is for two reasons. A, that you have clarity on the information that I've been um, sharing with you, and I know that we've actually covered a lot, but the other thing that's really important is that you get that information decoded in a way that actually has meaning for you. Because everybody's got this sort of, you know, slightly different goal, and everybody's starting from a slightly different position, and everybody wants slightly different outcomes. So how do we tweak the information so that it's clear and meaningful for you? And that's the real uh, function of the webinars, uh, sorry, the question and answer, um, sessions and so that you're very clear about what the next step is for you. Now I've put all this together in a very, very powerful learning environment and that learning environment is, is supportive in terms of you heading towards the extraordinary achievement that you know is important for you. And so it's the best training and support that I can package into such a short time together but it really is designed to, to rocket your experience of success so that you can actually make this year your best year yet, especially if financial and personal freedom are important for you. Now, I'm going to put all this together in a package. And what's contained within that package is everything that I've been talking about now, and I'm going to include a two and a half day program that I did based on the science of influence and persuasion. Now, influence and persuasion is really, really important, but most th people think that it's about being able to influence and persuade other people. And I kind of sort of think about, well, hang on, but what about the ability to influence and persuade yourself more effectively to take the action steps that you need in order to achieve your goal? So I did a workshop over two and a half days. We had it all recorded, and now I'm making it available to you. Now, to attend that workshop, it was actually $1,397. Now, that's part of your bonus for this whole blueprint for extraordinary achievement. The other thing I'm going to do is include a bonus, um, uh, a bonus prosperity catalyst program, which I recorded over nine sessions, and those nine sessions ran over uh, nine weeks. But it's a, 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 a program that's really designed to increase um, abundance, to increase this uh, connection to more prosperity. Now that program was, um, people attended that program for $497, and I'm again, again, I'm just going to include it into your bonus package. The other thing I'm going to put into your bonus package is a program that I did over a four evening, uh, four day session called Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. Now that's a video program, 
and I'm going to make that available in your bonus package. Now, people who attended that workshop, um, they paid $335 because of the value that was created. Now, in addition to that, in addition to that, so everything that we've covered so far, in addition to the three uh, bonuses, if you're one of the first 50 people that register for the Blueprint for Extraordinary Achievement, I'm going to include a video series based on the neuroscience of extraordinary performance. And again, that was over a four week um, period. We had it all videoed and recorded, and that's valued at $335. In addition to that, I'm also going to give you two bonus webinar audio version. And the first one is 10 Steps to a New Beginning, and that was valued at $97. And the second one is Mastering Money and Its Flow. And so everything that I've described is now going to go into your um, Blueprint for Extraordinary Achievement package. So just to be clear, if you, just to be clear, the three processes that we've got, the three packages that we've got, Influence Persuasion, which is a two and a half day workshop. We've got Prosperity Catalyst Program, that's an audio version. We've got Awakening Your Life, that's a video program. So we've got value up there, value there, $335, $497, $1,397. If you're one of the first 50 people included, in addition to that, I'll put the Neuroscience of Extraordinary Performance videos, which is valued at $335, the 10 Steps to a New Beginning audio series based on $97, and Mastering Money and Its Flow. Now that total package comes to $2,758. That's not what I want to pay. I really want you to have access to this information. I want you to have access to all of those bonus materials. I want you to have access to the 12 week blueprint for extraordinary achievement program, all for one payment of $397. It's just one payment of $397. Or if you'd like to stretch it out over the 12 week um, program, it's three monthly payments of $147 each. So that's the whole program the 12 weeks of the webinars, the bonus passage, if you're part of the first 50, then you get the other three bonuses, all for one payment of $397, or in fact, three payments of, three monthly payments of $149. Now, the details on when the program starts, which is starting in a few weeks from now, uh, how to claim your bonuses, and all of that sort of, the details are on the page below you. So until then, I'm Paul Council, and I'll see you in the Blueprint for Extraordinary Achievement. Bye for now.